Swamp water. Dale, we haven't had a good bite all day. That's just our luck. We haven't had a good day of fishing all summer. Maybe we should try to find a new bait supplier. I don't know, Bob. We've been doing things the same way for 30 years. I'm sure we have, Dale, but things haven't really been that great lately. We haven't won a fishing tournament in 20 years. Well, what's your idea, wise guy? I, I have these friends who have, uh, they have a wholesale business, but uh, they haven't really moved into retail just yet. Well, tell them to get a move on, and you're paying for the bait this time. You never have your wallet out for bait or Tim Hortons. Dale, uh, you, you know I'm always good for it. What's this business your friends are operating anyways? They own Blackwater Bait. They own territories for harvesting minnows and bait all year round. It's a, it's a real shame we can't get our hands on some of that, you know, for our own personal use. Yeah, I'd really like to try them out once they move into retail. Yeah, it'd be great. Anyway, we should, uh, should head on home soon. I'm going to be in trouble again. My wife's probably wondering where I am. I never really considered how big the live bait business could be in northern Ontario. You're right, Dale. It's about a $2 million industry, but there are really only a few big players in retail. What's the deal with that? I would think everyone would want a slice of the fisherman's pie. Well, Dale, there are a lot of costs associated with starting up a business like that. Often these, these businesses have to implement information systems to help them run point of sales and accounting systems. Let me guess. It's the MNR sticking their nose in other people's business. Those guys are the troublemakers. They're giving my nephew a hard time for swerving at a deer. All he wanted was some venison. That's not entirely fair, Dale. The, uh, the industry regulations help consumers like us because they let us know where our bait's coming from and where we can use certain species of bait in the different lakes. Hey, we're back just in time to watch my favorite news anchor. It's P. Sherman at 6 o'clock. I can't even see him. Your television is way too small. Dale, I, I told you, you gotta stop leaving your teacup here. It's, it's, it's always on the coffee table, so no wonder you can't see. You can't complain about the 28-inch when you've got that bathtub here in my living room. I have nowhere else to put it. It's either the teacup or my fishing boat in the garage. And there's only one of those I'm willing to bail out after a rainfall. Stop talking, Dale. P. Sherman is on and I'm not missing him two nights in a row. If I miss this, we gotta watch the Sudbury News at 7. Hey guys, can I watch the news? Banana guy, I told you, you you're not allowed on my property anymore. If, if, if this keeps happening, we're gonna have some legal issues and I'm gonna have to call the police and and I'm, I'm just not sure that either of us wants to deal with that right now. I'm sorry guys. Good evening, I'm P. Sherman, and this is what's making news at 6 o'clock. Joining me today, for some reason, is Phil Flounder, and I'm not sure how he got in the studio. But, but, come on, Sherman, I got a promotion last week. Whatever, Phil. Our top story tonight, local bait wholesalers turn to a retail storefront as Blackwater Bait decides to open Swamp Walkers. Any thoughts on this, Phil? I'm not sure. It's a really congested market. No one market cares, Phil. Some of the... oh, no one cares. Just... No one cares, Phil. You're the correspondent. You get your time later. Okay, Phil... let me close this out. Um... Sherman, did you change the teleprompter again? Typical. Rookie mistake. Here's Phil Flounder out of the studio where he belongs. Last week, I was invited out to Crooked Lake to meet up with a family-owned and operated business from North Bay. They wanted to share their struggles with us, which many small business owners can relate to. They showed me the hard work and dedication required to harvest bait. Of course, the tried and trusted methods of harvesting are something this young business has no troubles with. But their minds have drifted to other topics during those long days in the lake. Blackwater is a new business in the tourism and leisure industry, and they've struggled to make a name for themselves among well-established competitors. The prospects of opening a new retail location under the new name Swamp Walkers are just as exciting as they are challenging for the family. The Caldwells know that customer loyalty can be strong among anglers, but they need to implement a point of sale system that allows them to track their inventory and financial transactions. Blackwater Bait, as a wholesaler, has never relied on any type of technology to handle reporting of inventory or sales. As a retailer, Swamp Walkers will need to have a point of sale system as well as an inventory management system in order to properly report stock and spoilage to the Ministry of Natural Resources. The major difficulty with implementing an information system is that these owners want to use a single system to help run both divisions of the business simultaneously. This is further complicated because the legislation surrounding reporting standards for bait wholesalers differs from the regulations governing the retailers. After spending the afternoon with Thomas and Krista during their bait harvesting, I found my admiration for this family-run business to grow. 
Despite the fact they've experienced some challenges in their early days, growing pains are to be expected. All right, there you have it. Some great F reporting by uh, Phil Flounder, everyone. Yeah, good job, Phil. Great. All right, well, that, uh, it appears that Blackwater Bait's going to need an information system, so uh, now a word from our sponsors. You uh, know, uh, various uh, information cut, cut, systems. Yeah, to, to the break, I, yeah, to the break. Are you looking for a complete business solution for a point-of-sale system? Well, look no further, because we're here to introduce Square. Listen, this is a system where we have no monthly fees, we'll send you invoices, and we'll help you break down your customer profiles. In addition, you can deal with us anywhere and we will send you alerts when you're low on stock. Also, one of the newest features, we are compatible with both Apple OS and Android. So look no further for your point of sales needs. Come and hang with us at Square. Wow, Dale, that, that square system sounds like it would be a, a pretty good fit for this Blackwater Bait place. Uh, do, do you think it provides integration for accounting systems and stuff like that? It works well enough for sure, but then you're dependent on getting QuickBooks. What if you wanted to go with a different accounting system and you didn't want that extra cost associated with buying your POS system? What about inventory management? Do you think it would help with that portion of the business? Definitely, especially giving you alerts when you're low on stock. The ability to edit from anywhere must be a real strong suit. It also allows you to send out your invoices and create those customer profiles, which would definitely tie in well with your customer loyalty that a lot of anglers would experience. What about usability? Do you think it's, it's feasible for this company? I definitely think it's a good option, especially with no flat rate every month being charged. Our second information system is brought to you by Wasp. This is a system available through Staples for the low, low price of $1,800. It provides compatibility with handling your accounts receivable and payable, as well as handling discounts for different consumer groups. This is an integrated system for handling both stock and point of sales. In addition to handling all the sales management and stock management, you can also create detailed reports with the WASP system. Working with WASP. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a WASP. We're back with P. Sherman. Phil Flounder, how do, you, how do you feel about the cost associated with the WASP information system? Boy, oh boy, I'm at the Caldwells, and that's a steep price to pay up front for a business that's just starting. Do you think a system like this will be useful if this business continues to function in the future? It certainly helps with long-term growth. Introducing the final information system. Welcome to Moneris. We're the industry leader when it comes to point-of-sale systems. At only 2.65% per transaction, plus a monthly fee of $19.95, this POS system can be yours. Our software can be operated through iPads or smartphones. Our systems have great connections with third parties that are industry leaders when it comes to accounting and inventory management. Using our point of sale system is as easy as riding a bike. No. Wow, Dale, that, that Moneris guy sounds pretty angry. Yeah, he's definitely serious about his product. My only concern is is that you're getting a percentage charge on transactions plus a monthly fee. That seems steep to me. Do you think the integration with the Monero system would be beneficial to uh, Blackwater Bay? With new businesses, they're always willing to embrace new technologies, and the ability to use a POS system that connects with iPads or smartphones seems like it makes sense to me. Sounds like the, uh, the folks at Blackwater Bait have a difficult choice ahead of them, and I, I hope they're up to the challenge. I can see it now, though. This new retail outlet, it'll be glorious. The best place to get bait. It's, it's like a dream. Oh, look at me, just standing in front of the door. Oh, I'm so excited.